Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Are you or anyone you know worried about how to take care of blemishes? I'm often worried about them since I often get a lot of blemishes. And today, I have here some products that not only cares for blemishes but also pores. They're products from Industries Brightening Pore Line. So let's start by finding out how these products work and then I'll also show you the products of this line and how I use them. The Industries Brightening Pore products I brought here today are a total of six products. Cleanser, skin, serum, spot treatment, cream, and sleeping mask. All of these products are said to contain jeju halabong and triple vitamin derivatives. Through the use of the ultrasonic extraction method, they effectively extracted the bioflavonoids and active ingredients from the peel of the jeju halabong, which brightens and gives elasticity. And it said the triple vitamin derivatives include vitamin B3 that provides intensive care for melanin, vitamin C and B5 that delivers moisture-rich and hyaluronic acids while keeping the skin healthy. These products are said to care for skin defects and brighten at the same time. So now let's take a look at each product. First, the Brightening Pore Facial Cleanser. This cleansing foam is said to be a refreshing, moisturizing foam with soft foams that effectively removes waste from every corner of the pores and makes the skin clear. It has a milky water texture foam, and when dabbing it with my finger, I can see that it stretches like cheese. It makes soft and dense bubbles, and it's said that it effectively removes waste and leaves moisture on for a long time when washing it. I tend to wash my face with this cleansing foam by massaging my face, and although my skin did feel smooth, it didn't really feel moisturized. So if you have dry skin, I think you'll need to apply the skincare products on as soon as you wash your face. Next is the Brightening Pore Skin. This skin is said to be a daily whitening functional skin that cares for your skin by soothing and moisturizing the skin while softening the surface of the skin. It has a transparent, watery texture, but when dabbing it with my finger, I think it's a bit viscous. It applies very lightly and thinly, and when absorbed completely, it felt smooth. I personally felt that it was a bit dry when just wiping my face with it once, but by wiping my face with it once more in layers or using as a skin pack, I was able to feel the increase in moisture as the skin became bouncy. It's also said that it helps to calm the skin when sitting on some cotton soap pads on for about 5 minutes on the areas that requires calming relief. Next is the Brightening Pore Serum. This serum is said to be a daily whitening care serum that provides moisture and blemish care as well as elasticity care for pores and smooths the surface of the skin. It has an opaque, watery formulation that flows, and when dabbing it with my finger, it's also a bit viscous as well. When applied, it's very light and moisturizing, and when it's completely absorbed, I felt my skin was getting plumpy. Even with the full pump application of the serum, I can feel my skin getting moisturized and bouncier. It's said that the same amount can be used and can effectively help with blemish care. In addition through their human body application testing, it's said that this serum proved to provide all care to brightening, moisture, skin elasticity of pores. So when used for about 6 weeks, pigmentation, pores, moisture, elasticity, and tones are said to be improved. Next is the Brightening Pore Spot Treatment. This spot treatment is said to be a daily whitening care functional spot treatment that treats visible blemishes, cleans the surface of the skin, and evens out the skin. It has a white gel type texture, and when dabbed it with my finger, I found that it isn't viscous. When applied, it applies slightly and moisturizingly, and when completely absorbed, I felt my skin getting soft and smooth. I tend to apply this spot treatment thickly on the areas where I have blemishes or spots that stand out. It's great to apply by spreading it on, but if you want a faster brightening effect, it's set to apply it on by mixing with the serum in a 1 to 1 ratio. Next is the Brightening Pore Priming Cream. This cream is said to be a daily whitening care functional cream that smoothly fills the skin and makes the skin smooth with moisture and has a pore blurring effect. From the first glance, it is white and looks a bit thick in texture, but when taking some out, I think it's soft and creamy in texture. When applied, I felt it was a bit heavy at first, but as I smear it in my skin, I found that it absorbs into the skin moisturizingly and has a nice tacky finish. I applied it lightly on the area where I feel dry, such as the cheeks and forehead. It's said that when you apply it thinly on the areas where you have concerns with your pores, it smoothens out the skin texture. If you have dry skin, I think it'll be best to apply it in thin layer. And lastly, the Brightening Pore Sleeping Mask. This mask is said to be a daily winding care functional mask that forms a moisture barrier overnight to soften the surface of the skin with moisture, brightening, skin elasticity care. It has white capsules that contains active ingredients in a gel base, and these capsules melt and get absorbed as you roll them on your skin while you apply it on. When applied, since it's a gel type mask, it applies very lightly unlike other masks, and when absorbed completely, I felt my skin getting bouncy and smooth. I tend to apply this mask in small amounts by massaging it on, and like this I could feel my skin getting moist and soft when I wash my face in the morning. Like this I showed you the 6 products from Innisfree's Brightening Pore line. I have oily skin that lacks moisture and my skin tends to produce a lot of oil as time goes by. 
I'm also personally not a fan of products that feels heavy and thick, so it's extremely rare for me to use skincare products from skin to cream, but since the Innisfree's brightening pore line weren't oily, heavy, and stuffy, I was able to use them pleasantly. Of course, I applied the cream and mask lightly. And I also like that these products had a halabong scent, which is similar with the scent of an orange. It felt really fresh while using these products. All in all, I think these products will be great for people who like products that has fresh finish or prefer slight products like me. Since I don't have dry skin, I asked Haley Sam how she felt after using them, and she said that she personally felt that the products were moisturizing enough and that she didn't find them oily. But if you have super, extremely dry skin, I think it'll be best to apply them in layers by thoroughly absorbing them. Each product seems to have each effect we need, so let's take care of the surface of our skin with these products that not only provides blemish care and brightening, but also provides skin soothing, hydration, and cares for pores. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like button, then please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!